Hello friends. Today I will show you in Dynamics AX where dimension really is stored and where you can see the dimension in different different modules. There are a lot of modules in AX. If you are working in AX then you know what is the AX but if you are new user then we need to say something about the what is AX. AX is the acceptor terms. Full name is Microsoft Dynamics Accepta and it's also a language whatever you used in AX is X++ also called as Morphax. In AX it's ERP tool where uh, companies used to store a daily transaction like sales, purchase, inventory, cycles, budgeting, journal, ledger, cost accounting, fix, assets, cost and bank information, trial balance, journal, ledger. All these information is stored in ERP. You can see, if you want to see different, different modules in AX, then you can see here. In different, different menu, you can go from here. You can see module here. And you can see all module you can hide, unhide from navigation pane. If you want to know, uh, see where financial dimension master uh, start, then you can need to go to journal ledger. To go to JGL, you can see here menu, here journal ledger. Before you are seeing USF, this is nothing but its data area ID or company in ERP. You can use different different company as per your business requirement. Here, if you see the company list, a lot of company list, but uh, you may have one at the time of working. You need to select only one company in GL. You can see the financial dimensions. Here are different different financial dimensions, business units, agreement, cost center, department. And if you want to see the dimension values, and you can see from here, these are the dimension values. Active from, active to suspended owner. Here you are seeing the shared value and company's value. If you select the shared value, then it means particular dimension value can be used in all companies, same values. And if you select the company, then whatever company you will select here, uh, that will be applic applicable for that company only. This is the dimension name you can uh, describe different name you can give here it's given the same name and dimension you can specify different different dimension in GL setup and financial dimension is the uh, menu item here financial dimension you can see the name of financial dimension and uh, values of different financial dimension. These are standard dimension. And here you can set dimension, you can make a dimension set as per your requirement. Like here uh, for this dimension set, these are the dimensions selected. Here it's going in. Row label, main account, business and department, course center, and rebuild balances, update balances. If you do for particular combination, then it will update the balances dimension wise, and uh, which uh, balances you can see in trial balance reports. We are seeing 
different different menu items but these two menu are important which I am showing you here you can see currencies what are currencies applicable in companies list this is a currency master and if you want to see how dimensions are stored in masters and transactions and like we I am going uh, account payable here if you want to see a vendor dimensions then go to all vendors and click on edit here you will see one dimension financial dimension type is there a business unit course center department whatever uh, dimension activity for you will that combination will show here and same combination will be for all modules if you see purchase orders uh, just click select purchase order click edit button go to line details and here one more tab is financial dimension you will see same dimension set is used if you select header view then in purchase order header and line level both level dimension maintains mostly most of the cases header level and line level dimension will be same but it can be different in line level as per your business requirement same as for customers go to customer edit financial dimension if you see the fixed assets in fixed assets farm there is no directly dimensions available because in fixed asset dimension is required in value models just see here it's a value model it's also called a book id status posting profile here you can see financial dimension set for your assets you want to see whatever what dimension for item master then you need to go to product information system then release product here you need to select your item click edit you will see financial dimension of same set available in item mode same with production control inventory module these are the modules available in extent return account payable receivable journal budgeting cost accounting fixed etc cash and bank management travel and expense complex human resource payroll procurement and sourcing master planning product information and for uh, employee, if you want to see the employee dimension, then go to H payroll and select on employee. Here you will need to edit. Here directly you cannot see. You need to go to employment tab. And here financial dimension is available. This employee uh, may be related to any user also. If you want to you will listen of employee to user and go to user form and select relation if you want to see where it's stored click on right click on personalize the di party table name name is stored in di party table and this is user id it is stored di person user whatever user option you want to see you can go to user options whatever language set to particular user you can see language here what which company account is applicable for user and whatever development tool click options when breakpoint is ticked then you will able to debug your code whatever layer user model is selected here and In general, 
one is automatic shutdown. This is very important feature of AX. If it is zero, then AX will not close. Even it is ideal mode, but if you put any minute like 10 minute for particular user, then if user is ideal for 10 minute, then AX will automatically close after 10 minute. If user not is not working, so you can maintain your AX session by using this option. I hope you will uh, like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching this video.